I'm Michelle Rivas with the Menifee Buzz and I'm here after the Menifee Mayoral debate with uh, Neil Winter, candidate for mayor, and I had a couple of questions to ask him. Thank you so much for being here with me. My first question was, how do you think that this debate, or forum as they're calling it, will affect the students of Menifee after, of MSJC after watching it? Well, I hope that more of them watch it. That's the number one thing because there was a lot of people in the audience that was not the age group of the college students. And I found that last year there was a lot of apathy and students can't be apathetic this year. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a very important year for voting and not just for the mayor, but for everything going down the path. So I hope they learned a lot. I learned a lot about the city and this is what I was talking about, is that we need to do this more often so that the people will learn exactly what's taking place within the city. Because these are some of the things I heard today were things I've never heard before. And I've been to councils. Awesome. And I had another question. What answer that Scott Mann gave today, your opponent, did you agree with? Any position that he took that you agreed with? Yeah, well, I think we both agree that public safety is our number one concern. Mm -hmm. I, I think I want to get things done quicker. Mm -hmm. And there's a path that he's taking, and I think I can take a different path. But we both believe public safety is the right way to go. I think we both also believe in doing like some, some corridors. I believe stronger, though, in having the corridors or having the um, theaters in one place and restaurants in another, and, and having our city resemble more of an area that has more culture. And that's what we need to get. And I think he believes in the redevelopment of the Sun City area as well. Wonderful. And what issue after tonight do you think needs to be tackled immediately, like just the most important issue of the night? Well, I think the most important one is that I uh, need to study up a little bit more on the history of Menifee. <laughs> uh, after being here for the 12 years, I, I don't have the history of, of, of what the mayor has. And it was a powerful tool for him tonight because he does know so much about the city and I know very little. But like I said, that's a learning curve situation that I'm going to be going through. This election is not over. I will be on the streets. I'll be back out there again tomorrow and waving and doing all I can. And I believe we're going to have another debate on the 21st. So we'll, we'll see this happen again. So I, I learned a lot. I enjoyed it. It's like I've said, I've enjoyed this whole campaign process. It hasn't been painful in one spot at all. And I have one last question. What are three things you love about Menifee? <laughs> I love the cost of my house when I moved here from Laguna Niguel. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I like the schools my grandkids go to, and I think the schools are quality. Mm -hmm. I like I like the area because it's still rural, and, and we, can, we can maintain that rurality that we want. But one thing I did find out starting this whole election process, there's a lot of people here who care about the city, and I, they care about it politically which is very interesting because when I, the areas that I've come from, I have not seen that. So it's, it's been an eye-opener for me. It's been a pleasure. Well, thank you so much, Neil. It's a pleasure speaking with you. you. I'm Michelle Rivas with the Menifee Buzz and Menifee News Network.